Hi, hope you are doing well. Today we will discuss about track by function and which can help us to improve our application performance in certain scenarios. So let's start the video. So this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. Implementation of track by function is pretty simple but it's pretty effective when we will combine that with our ng4 directive and we will see why but before that we need to look on what is the problem so that we should use our track by operator means track by function what is it tracking as the name says and how it's helping in the performance improvement so we'll we'll see that so i have created a component which is tracked by in, in, in a normal angular project. So here if you see it's a track by component, it's a simple component and we have users and in that we have some pre-populated data and the same we are displaying it here in a ng for loop. It's a pretty simple simple thing and I will come to here a little later. So this is the page. I'll just try to refresh. So th this is the page what you are seeing and we are just rendering our users dot name. So here what we are doing is on click of this button we are calling assign data and inside that we are reassigning the same data again but it's a different array. Okay. So we'll just go to here and if when I click assign user here you can see if he, you can see here all our div and or our p and p tag and all our data is re-render in our browser think like if you have a lot of a lot of value and if suppose you are rendering some component and that's in a uh, in a ng4 directive in a ng4 loop and inside that you have some child and and it's a pretty complex object and that you are rendering on and on every call to the server server is giving back you the data with some addition of of some some added data so and you are uh, instead of appending the result, you are assigning the whole data. So in that case, this will going to render the whole DOM tree again. So in our case, it's pretty simple. We are just rendering a div tag and inside that we are rendering our all user names. In the second scenario, what I will do is instead of assigning the whole user, uh, what we will do, we'll just push some value. So now if you'll go to the uh, go to the browser and I'll just uh, highlight the same again. Check your eye on that. If I'm just putting the value, this uh, you can see now our div or our any any other means other data hasn't been pre-rendered because Angular has your whole reference as stored in the in, in, in this con context. So if I'm creating another one, if, whenever I, I keep keep on adding the value it will only going to add a separate you can see separate uh, node to our uh, dom tree so here in in a simple simple context it it will just add a separate uh, tag p tag to our previous context so why it's happening like here is we are adding the data to our pre-existed reference so this reference angular already has this means whatever you are assigning to to the to, to this array but if you are doing like this instead of uh, appending the value that means you are creating a new array that means a new reference got created in in your memory and that got assigned to the user now for the angular point of view this is a complete uh, what to say i'll just save so uh, for the angular point of view this is a complete new object so that's the reason angular don't know about it and it's trying to re-render it every time that's what happening so to overcome that we have our track by operator so the track by operator what it will do obviously what that our this push method is doing we have not exactly but just you can just re relate to like we have the reference uh, of our object in our memory so that we are saying okay this in this reference we are adding the data that's why don't change 
uh, the uh, pre-existed pre-rendered data because those are those will be same as the reference is same so in this case means in the track by a function okay sometimes i tell operator it's function track by function you will you will tell angular that if my object has this value then take that as your reference okay so that's just I'm, I'm just trying to simplify so angular just take that as a reference and it will not try to re-render that again if your value hasn't been changed so for that we can add a function or attribute called track by in our ng4 and here we can pass a method suppose we'll just call track by id so we have uh, if you see here we have our id and you are saying to the angular that okay keep this id as a reference and it is not like i just put like this and it will, it will work you have to implement the method as well so just go here just method the name and by default we will get two parameter here one will be index and another one your object which you which you are using to iterate over so one thing you can do you can return the index okay so what it will do it will just go through the index of suppose your uh, index value has it been changed and it will not re-render but if the value has been changed and it will uh, re-render the value but in our case what we'll do we'll go with the id just to show you that okay so with if you have some unique character means unique property in your in your object that also you can use to render re re render your data when the angular uh, will access this track by and will call the method in 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 every uh, row means and in, in every p tag here it will going to return the id and that id angular will take as a reference to render or not if the value hasn't been changed okay here you can see we don't have any change and if you just have a look here you are saying ng for track by track by an index user that what we are written written there and if you just click on that it will going to change and it will it will okay so now now it's ng for reflected and now it will not going to change because our object means all our object are returning the same id so what i will do now is i'll just go here and just change the id to something else now if my value is same but id got changed then also it will going to re-render the data just look on that so if you see my this this subworth got highlighted and the first p tag got highlighted if i just try to do it again because again we are assigning the same data in the scenario suppose think like you are as you are returning the id but if you are adding uh, the same value and same id in the group it's not like it's not going to render it at all so it will going to render that so if i'll just add uh, like assign user then just keep an eye on the list in the in the developer tool you see just that tag got added so it's checking the both like if your id is same then also if, if you are changing the value then it will going to work like uh, for this case suppose uh, and one more scenario is uh, passing the id uh, same but i will just change this value to something else and if i'll just go to the browser and here if you see we have the data but for now for us we are returning the id that take as a reference but it will also going to change the value what you are rendering if that render value are different then it will going to re-render your data and see this this got highlighted and that's how it work and one more scenario can be like if you are calling the server but you are getting the data in a different order and suppose we are getting like this the sanjit and joe will go order as this so in this case what angular should do is it should only add these two in the in the in the list so in in, in between it shouldn't it, sh it should not affect the anything else as we are tracking by our ids just keep an eye so what it will do is it will only highlight on the second and third p click on the assign user and here you'll see we are getting only those two p and our div is re-render okay and that's what 
द मैजिक ऑफ ट्रैक बाय ऑपरेटर मीन ट्रैक बाय फंक्शन एंड दट हाउ इट विल हेल्प अस एंड सो दिस इज वॉट ट्रैक बाय फंक्शन इज एंड इट कैन हेल्प अस इफ आवर लिस्ट इज वेटी बिग और वी हैव इफ यू आर इटरेटिंग थ्रो ए कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑब्जेक्ट विच हैज मल्टीपल नेस्टेड चाइल्ड एंड यू एंड इफ यू कीप ऑन एडिंग ट्रैक बाय इन एवरी चाइल्ड दैन इट इट विल improve your performance pretty efficiently if you are just changing your or kind of very assigning your data in the, in the call from the server so please hit the like button if you are liking the video till now and please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss future videos and please share this video among your friends family colleague and please give some valuable comment in the comment section below it and those are pretty helpful and watch this video to know more about programming and web development we will going to meet in the next video till that stay happy stay safe bye bye